We're back today with another developer stream recap for Last Epoch. This will be the stream that was on last night if you're watching this on the day it's released. So it's the 5th of April Q&A stream. A lot of interest and information on this one. Some of the questions that were asked, just to give you a bit of a teaser, we've got details on Story Skip, Cycle 2, Alt Catch Up Mechanics, New Masteries, Void Class, Expansions, Shaman Rework, Hideouts and Melee Buffs as well. And there's a lot more in there as well. So this was a two hour stream, we've managed to cut it down to around about 15 minutes or so. So if you find this helpful, please do take the time to hit the like, share and subscribe button and enjoy. Uh, do you think there's a possibility for someone who's already finished the story to create a new character and skip through the whole story to avoid doing it all over again. Especially in hardcore, I've done the story so many times for each of my characters who died. Um, we don't plan to do this at the moment. Uh, first season, any news? Um, like, uh, second cycle starting? Um, it's, it's gonna be roughly three to four months after the first one. Um, and, uh, it's, it'll be focused around bosses. And uh, like the, we're, we're adding like pinnacle content to the game. Um, all right, more questions. Is this game going to be a PC exclusive, or have you got any plans to bring the game to other platforms? Um, we do plan to bring the game to other platforms. Uh, we don't have an ETA on that, or specifically what platforms it will be. Um, there's some obvious uh, choices. I mean, like we do already have a Linux uh, Linux version, which arguably is just PC. So eh, potato potato there. Um, we've uh, what am I saying? Uh, yeah, there's, there's lots of people are playing it on Steam Deck already. Technically, we're not, um, officially approved on Steam Deck or verified on Steam Deck, but people do use it, uh, and apparently it works pretty well. Um, we were, like, one of the top played games on Steam Deck in March, which is wild, uh, considering we don't even have the, the little tick mark. That's cool. Um, so yeah, there's, there's different platforms, uh, and different yeah, barriers to entry to expand into them. And, you know, like, player count, um, like, requests we get for it, difficulty to do it, all, all these things uh, will play a factor in us deciding which ones we go to first and which ones we delay a little bit and keep going to after. But, yeah, we, we do plan to expand eventually into other platforms. It's going to be a little while, though, so, like, um, I, I wouldn't, if you're, if you're like, um, I really want to play, but I, I, I am not sure if I want to wait for a, um, a different version, to, like, like, come out on PlayStation or something like that, um, it's, it's going to be a while. It's going to be quite a while before anything like that happens. Um, uh, so if you're itching for it and you've got the PC to run it, my advice would be get it on PC. But if not, and you just want to one day play, yeah, one day. All right. Will our alts ever catch up method? Will our alts ever get a catch up method to catch up to our main corruption level? Um, we, we have a mechanic to address the feedback on this axis that we are preparing at the moment. I am attempting to say this as vague as possible and I cannot provide any more information at this time, sorry. It's still in like, early feedback and testing. In case things get wildly changed between now and implement and proper like release, I don't wanna be like, this is happening and then it just changed horribly. Uh, should we expect fourth masteries or rather new classes first? Fourth masteries would be before new classes. Because fourth masteries we can, um, we can do individual ones, um, like we, we could do we could do one mastery. We, could, we could, like say we could we could add a fourth mage mastery, um, and then we would have like four three 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 three, and and that would be fine. Um, so we we can add in another mastery at the same time as doing other stuff a lot easier. Um, but if we add in a whole new base class and three masteries with it, um, that's a gigantic undertaking, uh, time wise and. Uh, not exactly a, uh, <laughs> uh, conducive to adding other stuff at the same time. Any plans to show cosmetics on the character selection screen? Yeah. Um, it did for a while, actually, and I don't know why it doesn't. But I hope it comes back. Uh, are you guys thinking of telling us the story of Weaver's Will and how the item got forged? Items got forged. Yes. Big foreshadowing. Ooh. Uh, in the future, do you guys put more void type class masteries? Possible. Um, I it, it is a very clear gap in the design space for classes um, 
that are available right now. Uh, will the new pinnacle bosses have phases, or can it be one shot? Um, uh, I don't know if those are mutually exclusive. Um, like, Lagan has phases and can be one shot. Um, uh, the, the, like, the, the, the tippy top pinnacle boss will have phases. But, like, I'm not gonna tell you anything else. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be a sweet fight. Where, where I was working on it this morning. Um, making some new tech for it. Uh, I know this game just released, but is the possibility of expansions far in the future, or will it just be based on cycles? Um, the primary plan we have right now is to keep it cycle-based, um, specifically because we, we really don't want to be in a situation where, um, like, expansion, like, okay, so, uh, you like, you and your buddies, maybe, maybe a couple of them have, like, stopped playing, and they've gone on to other things, and this new expansion comes out, and uh, a couple of you buy the expansion, um, and then you're like, oh, come out, the expansion's so good, hop back in. And they're like, I don't know if I want to buy the expansion to come back and play or not. But they come back and like, I'll try out, see what's going on. And then they're like, oh, you don't have the expansion, you can't come do the thing we want to do, so you can't play with us. And it like splits the community, and it's just frustrating. Um, so we don't have plans for that right now. Right, any plan on improving the brain of the Wraith Lord so it's not just randomly flying around? Um, I... I, I think I think someone reported a bug recently on this. Um, if you think you found a bug, please report the bug. Uh, can we expect items or reworks for improving weaker masters builds like Forge Guard Shield Throw comes to mind? <laughs> there, there you go, Aaron. So that's a, that's a confirm confirmation. Um, the uh, <laughs> we we do uh, we we do like to look at underperforming uh, and overperforming items and skills and all sorts of things frequently. Um, I don't have any specific details on individual potential upcoming balance changes for next patch. Will you improve multiplayer experience? Yes. As of now, it's a bit, well, awful, sorry to say. Love the game, though. Um, yep, we are constantly working on it. Um, there's... Uh, I don't know how much I'm allowed to talk about the stuff we're working on specifically, but we're definitely working on big changes for that. Uh, I will have some effect on overall multiplayer performance. It's hard to tell the, um, the like the test servers because there's so less, uh, so so less uh, of a load on them. Um, they uh, they're naturally just a little bit faster. But our most recent test was really promising. Uh, there were some cool ideas for Volatile Reversal that I still want to do, so I kind of don't want to show what they were. Um, so that's going to need to rework. It's like, it, it is really good and uh, it is really fun to use, but it's too, it's too universally useful. The utility is just so universally awesome that I think it needs. Um, I think it needs some of its power hidden in the top half of the Void Knight tree, specifically so that, or 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 through some other method of like Void Knight restriction. So it's like anyone can use it. It's still really good for anyone, but it's like it's amazing on Void Knight. It's good on everyone else. Is is one is one thing I think would be really uh, healthy for Sentinel as a master or as a base class overall. Um, and then I'd, I'd like to see it have more um, intentionality to it, more setup, more uh, planning involved. I think would be I think would be a useful thing for it. Uh, is there still a rework of the shaman in progress? <laughs> as as I said for a long time ago, I, I don't like this term rework really for shaman. Um, we we are still actively updating and making changes to it. Maybe the best way to put that, but the core themes and um, most of the skills won't have their primary functions uh, dramatically altered. I don't think. Uh, it's it's missing a skill. It's missing uh, some some nice interactions. Um, it's got a couple strong bugs still. You know, there's there's just like a few little things that need to come into place, and then like an extra skill to get slapped in there. I think it's. 
well on its way. Uh, right. Any plans to allow CUF players to target farm boss drops like Prophecy with increased chance for a boss to drop rare items or duplicate boss drops? Um, I, I don't think there's any plans uh, for the Prophecies to affect boss drops at the moment. Will we get new unique idols for every class and sets? Uh, or does some sets get buffed? Um... Uh, unique idols are quite rare for us to add. Um, it's it's kind of a special thing to, to have a unique idol, but it is space that we do want to explore more. Um, and just had to get a little bit of blue out of there. <laughs> um, as as for set items, we do have a slightly longer term plan for set items to be uh, t to have a shift in their place in the gearing world um, they, they they need they need a little bit they need a new mechanic to go with them overall in order to have them fit into your gearing ecosystem nicely um, so we're still working on that we've got something planned it's not implemented yet um, once it's done and dusted we can we can talk about it, all that sort of stuff but uh, we are working on sets we know they're not awesome uh, they will be awesome all right, I know you're going to introduce some character creation. Um, will that also include female, male for every class? We do have plans for a character customization system um, whereby you'll be able to customize the appearance of your character. We do plan on including body type as one of those options. Um, I this is, this is not a soon thing. This is not something people are actively working on developing inside the team right now. Um, this is going to be quite a ways out. Um, but it is something that we are um, interested in doing, still planning on doing. Uh, it's not been forgotten. Uh, gets asked every week. <laughs> you won't let us forget it. That's fine. Um, it's, it's one of those things that like, um, and this is my spiel for it every time, is people either, either it's the most important thing in the game or uh, who cares type thing. Um, and there's, there's a few people that are like, it's a nice value add. It's good to have, but it's not a big deal if it doesn't have it. Um, and it's, it's one of those things where we feel like there's just other parts of the core game systems that we need to develop first. Um, and once we've had more time to develop those, um, and the core game's feeling better and all that sort of stuff, it's, it's the type of thing that we will, uh, expand into and be looking to improve. Because it is, it is important, it is incredibly important to a huge, uh, group of people. And, um, we, we want to... Have a game they enjoy playing. Any plans on adding some sort of base mechanic? Some form like oh, base mechanic, I, like hideout or something. And if yes, would it be customizable? Um, I I'd love to get something like this in. I I don't know. Sweet. Um, we've always had this sort of hesitation to make a base. Uh, a base mechanic like that, like a hideout, a customizable hideout system, um, in the fear that it will uh, pull people out of towns too much, and you know everyone's isolated on their own servers, um, and would you know not not really have a it's a few other little things, but. If there were a way to customize some space that you went into frequently, um, I, I, I don't know. It's it's possible. I, I'd say I, I'd I'd love to do it. I think there's um, there's probably some way to incorporate it that uh, would would assuage uh, our concerns and uh, still be interesting and, and exciting for players to do. Um, I don't know what that is off the top of my head right now. I'm sorry. Uh, any ward changes? Yep. Yeah. Um, I don't think I can go into detail on them right now, but um, yeah, there, there's. I mean, all, all, all there has to be is one, like the the ward, the ward affix, the maximum of T7 ward affix got reduced by one. There's ward changes. You know, I, I don't know what it's gonna be. Um, but yeah, yeah, we we are looking at ward. We there's uh, the the intention behind the question is likely in regards to ward being kind of OP right now. Um, and, and yeah, there's, 
Uh, I think room for Ward to... W Ward's kind of finicky. It's a really interesting mechanic, and it, it lends itself really well to min-maxing. Um, at the same time, when you min-max Ward too hard, it kind of goes... <laughs> it kind of goes too hard. That's funny. Back to back Titan Heart. Um, so while it is something that like would be nice to improve upon, I'm, <sighs> we got some plans for it. So similar. All right, any chance there's going to be an option to buy more character slots? No. I'd love to have more characters with more builds uh, and just to get, and just bleh, at the ready and love leveling them. Um, we we are planning on increasing the number of character slots available. You won't be able to buy them. We consider that a uh, like pay for convenience uh, type system, so we don't want to have it. But we do plan on having more. Uh, the, the the way the character limit was implemented. Um, was really unfortunate. We're getting so many beetles this time. I love it. And um, the way the character li limit got implemented, it makes it really hard to increase it, actually, which I know sounds ridiculous. Um, but we have slowly been decoupling it from uh, why it's difficult to increase it. Um, and it will become easier to increase it in the future. Um, so it is something that we, we know people are, are looking forward to having more of. We do plan to increase it more still. It's not quite ready yet. Are we getting any melee love anytime soon? Yeah. Well, there's... We, we definitely have kept melee in mind very acutely in the development of the Pinnacle Boss content. Um, and... It's, it's like... Range does have a very natural advantage. Um, and we're taking steps to mitigate that natural advantage.